Congressman Kevin Brady, he's a Republican from Texas, and I want to know this. Congressman, if you had to fight, go up against, if a Republican candidate had to go up against Elizabeth Warren or Hillary Clinton, which one would you choose? In other words, which is the easiest to beat for a Republican? Yeah, well, right now, you know, Hillary Clinton looks like she's out of touch with the Democrat Party. Elizabeth Warren's out of touch with most of America. So whether we get the left or the far left, we're still getting four Barack Obama. So I think either one, frankly, works. We're going to see a Republican president. Uh, but you duck the question. Who would you rather see the Republican go up against? It, come on. Who is most easily beaten? You know, I think they both have huge weaknesses. I'm not ducking it. As I'll tell you what, um, I'd run against, uh, our person's going to run against either because you've got sort of those tired old Washington solutions in, in Hillary Clinton, and then you've got uh, these far left solutions that, frankly, uh, everyone knows won't work and have uh, huge flaws. So, oh, well, you know, I, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll take either one. I, uh, how about this from Elizabeth Warren? Here's what she could say. Profits, corporate profits as a proportion of GDP, the highest in history. Personal income as a proportion of GDP, lowest in history. You people out there, you get really messed with. Vote for me. Isn't that a powerful line? It is, especially if she actually completes the sentence and says, vote for me, I actually helped most of that happen. Yeah. You know, stoking <laughs> Wall Street, making sure middle class families' paychecks have been stagnant forever. Look, she's the problem. She's not the cure. Okay. I know you want to do away with the death tax. I know I you've got legislation in mind for that. Here's what I say. You haven't got a prayer. It'll never happen. Last 30 seconds to you, Congressman. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I haven't given up hope. This is still the number one reason family farms and businesses aren't passed to the next generation. Really hurts the economy. Truth is, we could raise more revenue by doing away with it and create the jobs and actually reward the American sure. dream again. So we're going to keep fighting. Okay. But uh, you're going to disappoint a lot of tax lawyers. You realize that. You're going to put well, them right maybe, out of business if you do that. Just put them out of business. Maybe they're silently cheering us on. We'll see. <laughs> Kevin Brady, always a pleasure. Thanks for being with Thank us. You, sir. Appreciate it.